Alright, man, I thought I, I, I thought I would have been done with this hate week here, man, but this is going to be real quick, you dig? I just want to address 24-7 Seahawk. I guess y'all main commissioner of the, what, the freaking Hawk Nation or whatever y'all call it, you dig? I'm going to make this quick as possible, dog. Homeboy said that the Seahawks was going to beat the Saints 42-20. to 24-7 Seahawk, really, dog? If you go back and look at our history on the road, no matter whoever we face under the Sean Payton era, minus last year, we don't ever get blown out like that, bro. Yes, it is, like I said in my last video, it's going to be a very tough test against a very good team. You dig? Um, the 12th man is going to be in effect, yes. But our main concern, you know what I'm saying, is the weather. You dig? They say it's going to be rainy and snowy. Ain't no way in hell y'all putting up 42 points. Not even in that type of weather, them weather conditions. Are you are you freaking losing your mind? Do we look like the freaking San Francisco 49ers that do not have an offense 24-7 Seahawks? Because obviously you got us twisted with the San Francisco 49ers. Also, by the way, San Francisco 49ers, the players who are still on that team bitching about that damn play. Dante wouldn't take two of these with you for saying Drew Brees can't take a hit. Because bitch, he came right back. Even after taking a hit, being busting the lip and still won a game. So shut your stupid ass up. You heard me. Amai Brooks, take two of these with you for being a hoe. That's why y'all the whiners. Y'all coach can take one of these for being a hoe. But that, I'm not I'm not on there about that, you heard me. I gotta say, man, y'all can keep sleeping on the Saints if y'all want, you dig. Every time somebody underestimates the Saints, they make us they make us play harder, you dig. Like I said, I expect us to come out and win, you dig. Low scoring game. You hear me? 27, what, no, no, excuse me, 24, 21 Saints, you hear me? Something like that, 24, 20 Saints, you dig? You know what I'm saying? Keep underestimating us, bro. Y'all really under, or look, overlooking our defense, you dig? Keep underestimating us, bro. 24 Seahawks, bro. For you to put 42 points on our defense, you have to first break that record that we, that we doing. No team has put no more than 17 points on us beside the New England Patriots. And the New York Jets, you dig? Um, that's the highest team put on, what, 30 points. And Tom Brady, of course, that's a quarterback, you know, that's expected to put up them type of points, you dig? Yes, I, like I said, I agree. Your, 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 your secondary has some great players on that team. Richard Sherman, yes. You know, but like like, like true that said, he can't, he can't cover everybody, you dig? Like I told you before, we had way too many weapons for y'all to cover, you heard me? So kill that noise. 42 to 20 makes me go, <laughs> Right now, y'all sound like some Atlanta Fell Clown fans. That's some delusional stuff right there. You dig? The Saints are one of the best teams in the league. You hear me? Especially on the road when it come down. There's no such thing as the Saints being blown out. Don't care about the damn weather. You dig? Don't care about none of that. You dig? Then it's on prime time. Y'all talking about y'all record on prime time. Y'all talking about Russell Wilson and Seattle Seahawks undefeated on prime time. Go look at the Saints record on prime time, you dig? At home, you dig? Even on the road, go look at their record. And tell me what you see. You're going to be a good game because both teams are great in prime time, you dig? So ain't going to be no such thing as blowing a nigga out, you hear me? You dig? You know what I'm saying? I'll let you, boy, man. 24-7, take two of these with you. Take, no, you know what? Take four of these with you. Take, take, take two secret, take, take two middle fingers that I don't, I don't even have and shove them all up your head, you hear me? For, for, the, for that dumbass prediction of 42 to 20. Because you have to be darn skippy to think our defense is going to get a 42 points. Marshawn Lynch, that was a one-hit wonder type thing. That 67-yard run, I love the way y'all keep showing that. I hope the first time he get the ball, we knock the living shit out of Marshawn Lynch. Keys to victory, you hear me? Stop Marshawn Lynch. You did make the Seahawks pass a game one-dimensional, you hear me? Yes, I agree. Russell Woods can run with his legs, you hear me? So, you know, that's going to be a tough test, you hear me? But, like I said... We go out there, execute our game plan like we do. I don't give a damn about the 12th man. Nigga don't give a damn about the code. You hear me? Go out there, execute the game plan. Run the hell out the ball because the Seahawks cannot stop the run. You dig? Y'all can talk all y'all want. You dig? We coming out there with a victory. You hear me? So I let your boy. Yeah, just in the building. You Seahawks fans are so overconfident. Lord have mercy. What, what, what the hell? I used to like to see y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, re I respect y'all as a team, you hear me? But your, your fan base have gotten overconfident, you dig? Shout out to Russell Wilson for being the same fan. 
obviously it's Seahawk Nation. Y'all too stupid to, have even realize, to not even realize your quarterback is learning things from our quarterback, you dig? Drew Brees. A Saint fan. If it wasn't for Drew Brees getting at that elite level, dumbasses, you hear me? If it wasn't for Sean Payton schooling Drew Brees to get at that elite level, you hear me? Russell Wilson wouldn't even beat his cold right now helping y'all get to that, you hear me? So y'all should be thanking the Saints right now. You hear me? Y'all should be thanking the Saints, man. Take two of these.